An engineering milestone is unfolding at Cape Canaveral today. Blue Origin's towering New Glenn rocket, standing as tall as the historic Saturn V, has taken its place on Launch Complex 36 for crucial pre-flight testing. The signs are unmistakable. Active methane flare stacks illuminate the Florida coast while controlled venting indicates sophisticated cryogenic operations are underway. This 98-meter giant represents the latest challenger in the commercial space race, preparing to join the ranks of heavy-lift vehicles capable of deploying massive payloads to orbit. From the ground to the air, our exclusive multi-angle coverage captures every detail of this historic test campaign. As the aerospace industry watches closely, we're bringing you unprecedented access to these critical preparations for New Glenn's upcoming maiden flight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for space industry developments. Let's dive right in. The sheer scale of Blue Origin's New Glenn tells a story of human ambition reaching skyward. With seven BE-4 engines ready to unleash 17 meganewtons of raw power, what we're witnessing today at Launch Complex 36 marks a pivotal moment in commercial spaceflight. The rocket's towering presence against the Florida sky isn't just impressive, it represents years of engineering dreams finally taking physical form. Today's testing has revealed an unexpected level of sophistication in New Glenn's operations. The methane flare stack's brilliant flames pierce the morning haze, while controlled venting from the liquid natural gas tank creates an ethereal cloud around the vehicle's upper section. These aren't just routine procedures. They're the culmination of countless hours of design, testing, and refinement by some of the world's finest aerospace engineers. But the story of New Glenn goes deeper than today's tests. In a dramatic shift from traditional rocket development, Blue Origin has committed to an ambitious goal of 25 flights per booster. This isn't just about reusability, it's about revolutionizing our access to space. Each successful landing will write a new chapter in spaceflight history, building upon the legacy of their New Shepard program while pushing the boundaries of what's possible. A crucial turning point came during New Glenn's development when engineers faced the challenge of aerodynamic control during descent. While competitors opted for grid fins, Blue Origin's team took a bold different approach. The distinctive aerodynamic fins visible on the inner stage weren't just a design choice. They emerged from countless hours of wind tunnel testing and computational analysis, representing a unique solution to the complex physics of rocket recovery. The launch pad itself holds secrets of future ambitions. Launch Complex 36's massive infrastructure wasn't just built for New Glenn. It was designed with the future New Armstrong vehicle in mind. The twin towers rising alongside the rocket tell their own story. The left tower, more robust and complex, houses critical systems and access points, while its counterpart stands guardian against Florida's fierce lightning storms. A dramatic moment in today's testing occurred when the propellant loading sequence began. The careful choreography of cryogenic fluids flowing through the vehicle's veins showcases the precision required in modern rocketry. Each valve actuation, each pressure reading, carries the weight of mission success or failure. The rocket's massive seven-meter fairing represents another leap forward in capability. Unlike anything currently flying from American soil, this payload volume opens new possibilities for satellite deployment and space station construction. The upcoming Blue Ring Pathfinder mission, while technically impressive, barely scratches the surface of what this vehicle can achieve. Behind the scenes, three more New Glenn vehicles are taking shape in various stages of production. This parallel processing approach marks a significant departure from traditional rocket manufacturing, showcasing Blue Origin's commitment to establishing a sustainable launch cadence. Each vehicle incorporates lessons learned from its predecessors, creating a continuous cycle of improvement. Today's testing has revealed something unexpected, the remarkable speed of New Glenn's fueling operations. While other rockets might take hours to load propellants, New Glenn's advanced systems can complete the process in just 30 minutes. This breakthrough in ground operations efficiency could revolutionize launch operations, potentially enabling multiple launches within the same launch window. The integration of liquid oxygen and liquid natural gas propellants wasn't just a technical decision. It represents a carefully calculated balance between performance, handling safety, and future aspirations. 
The second stage's hydrogen-oxygen system adds another layer of complexity, optimized for the demanding requirements of orbital operations. As we continue monitoring today's tests, the relationship between ground systems and vehicle becomes apparent. The transporter erector, far from being just a support structure, serves as a lifeline for the rocket, providing crucial connections for power, data, and propellants. This massive piece of ground infrastructure, moving with precision despite its size, demonstrates the intricate dance between vehicle and ground systems. What makes today's testing particularly significant is its role in validating New Glenn's entire launch system. Each vent we observe, each flare stack ignition, represents a critical step toward first flight. The methodical approach might seem slow to outside observers, but it reflects decades of spaceflight lessons learned, often through difficult experiences. The weather conditions today have added another layer of complexity to testing operations, Florida's characteristic atmospheric conditions create unique challenges for cryogenic loading and venting operations. Yet the New Glenn team has incorporated these environmental factors into their testing procedures, demonstrating the robust nature of their design. As the test campaign progresses, we're witnessing the birth of not just a new rocket, but potentially a new era in commercial spaceflight. The ambitious target of six launches in the coming year speaks to Blue Origin's confidence in their vehicle. However, this confidence is tempered by the realities of rocket development. Each step forward must be validated. Each system must prove its reliability. The integration of advanced sensors and monitoring systems throughout New Glenn provides unprecedented insight into vehicle health and performance. This data-driven approach to testing and operations represents a significant advancement over earlier rocket generations, enabling faster detection and resolution of potential issues. Looking beyond today's testing, New Glenn's role in future space exploration becomes clear. With its capability to deliver substantial payloads to lunar transfer orbit, this vehicle could play a crucial role in humanity's return to the moon and eventual journey to Mars. Each successful test brings us one step closer to these ambitious goals. As we conclude today's coverage of New Glenn's testing, we're witnessing more than just a new rocket preparation. We're seeing the next chapter in commercial spaceflight unfolding before our eyes. The meticulous testing procedures, the sophisticated propellant management, and the ambitious reusability goals all point to a future where space access becomes increasingly routine and reliable. While today's operations may be winding down, the journey of New Glenn is just beginning. With its powerful BE-4 engines, massive payload capacity, and advanced recovery systems, this vehicle represents a significant leap forward in launch vehicle technology. The upcoming months promise to be exciting as Blue Origin moves closer to their maiden flight. The space industry continues to evolve rapidly, and staying informed about these developments is crucial. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the latest updates and in-depth coverage of the most significant developments in space exploration and technology. If you found this coverage informative and want to stay updated on future developments in the commercial space sector, please take a moment to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this detailed look at New Glenn's testing and share your thoughts about Blue Origin's ambitious plans in the comments below. Don't forget to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who would appreciate this inside look at cutting-edge rocket technology. Follow us on social media for real-time updates on major space industry developments. Thank you for joining us for this historic test coverage. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, keeping you connected to the future of space exploration. Breaking news from SpaceX has just turned the aerospace industry on its head. Despite the FAA's announcement pushing Starship's next launch window into 2025, SpaceX might have found a brilliant way to get Starship back in the air before this year ends. The story gets even better. Flight 7 isn't just another test launch. It's shaping up to be the most ambitious Starship mission yet. Featuring the first ever controlled landing attempt and the debut of SpaceX's new version 2 hardware. The excitement hit fever pitch on December 15th when Elon Musk announced the successful static fire test of the first Block 2 Starship. 
a clean, flawless firing that signals SpaceX is ready for their next giant leap. With both the ship and Booster 14 proving their worth in ground tests, SpaceX is racing against the clock to potentially deliver a Christmas Eve spectacle that could rewrite the rules of spacecraft turnaround times. What makes this mission truly exceptional isn't just its timing, it's the groundbreaking technology that could finally see both stages of the world's largest rocket return safely to Earth. This isn't just about launching rockets anymore, it's about revolutionizing how we access space. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in SpaceX's journey to transform space travel. Let's dive right in. The race against time at Starbase has taken an unexpected turn. As engineers worked through the night on December 15th, the first Block II Starship roared to life, its engines painting the Texas sky with a brilliant orange glow. But this wasn't just another test. It was a moment that could reshape the future of space travel. Inside the control room, the tension was palpable as years of innovation and countless sleepless nights culminated in this crucial moment. The story of Flight 7 began months earlier in the aftermath of Flight 6's partial success. While the world saw a spectacular launch and unprecedented height achievement inside SpaceX, a small team of engineers had already identified a critical opportunity. They discovered that subtle modifications to the flight control systems could dramatically improve the vehicle's stability during descent, a finding that would prove instrumental in what was to come. The regulatory landscape seemed set to delay progress when the FAA announced their 2025 timeline. But SpaceX had an ace up their sleeve. Working quietly behind the scenes, they'd been coordinating with the FCC on a broader launch window strategy. The breakthrough came when they demonstrated that their planned modifications wouldn't significantly alter the mission profile, effectively streamlining the approval process. Deep within Starbase's Mammoth Assembly Building, Ship 34 stands as a testament to relentless innovation. Its gleaming hull contains over 103 specific improvements from previous versions, each meticulously tested and refined. The lead engineer, speaking on condition of anonymity, revealed that some of these changes were inspired by observations of how birds maintain stability during steep dives. Nature's own re-entry vehicles. The stakes couldn't be higher. NASA's involvement in monitoring the re-entry isn't just about gathering data, it's about validating Starship's potential role in the Artemis program. Sources within the space agency suggest that a successful landing could accelerate their lunar timeline by as much as 18 months. The Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority's participation adds another layer of international scrutiny and validation. But the real drama unfolds in the catching mechanism for the Super Heavy Booster. The engineering team faced a seemingly impossible challenge, how to safely catch a 230-foot-tall rocket traveling at considerable speed. Their solution combines advanced AI-driven predictive algorithms with a revolutionary dampening system. During recent testing, this system demonstrated an ability to adjust to wind variations in milliseconds, faster than human reflection. The pressure mounted when internal sensors during Ship 33's recent static fire test revealed unexpected data patterns. This discovery led to a series of rapid innovations in the propulsion system, culminating in what one senior engineer called the most significant breakthrough in rocket engine design since the invention of the stage combustion cycle. These improvements promise not just better performance, but a level of reliability that seemed impossible just months ago. Meanwhile, the construction of Booster 15 has become a masterclass in precision engineering. Using new automated welding techniques, teams have achieved unprecedented structural integrity. The booster's methane tank, completed ahead of schedule, incorporates a revolutionary internal baffling system that reduces propellant slosh by an astounding 47% compared to previous designs. The human element of this story can't be overlooked. At Starbase, engineers have been working in rotating shifts, some staying on site for days at a time. One team member shared how they celebrated their child's birthday via video call while monitoring critical test data. These personal sacrifices underscore the dedication driving this program forward. The development of the refueling system has become another crucial piece of the puzzle. Initial tests revealed challenges with propellant transfer in simulated zero-gravity conditions. 
The breakthrough came from an unexpected source, a junior engineer's observation of how surface tension affects liquid behavior in the International Space Station's water recycling system. This insight led to a complete redesign of the transfer mechanism, resulting in a system that's both more efficient and more reliable. Ship 35's construction brings another